it's Miriam, and this is Before You Buy with the LG G4. Uh, this is the new flagship from LG, and it is a tremendous phone. I can spoil it a little bit for you right now by telling you this is potentially the best phone on the market today of all phones, and definitely one of the best Android phones on the market. So, LG just launched this about uh, a week and a half ago, and I've got two of them here. The reason for that is I've got the two different covers, as you can see. The one on my left here is a plastic back cover with what they call hammered metal, but it's not real metal though. And the one on my right here is actually a real a leather cover with some really cool stitching, and it feels wonderful. And so yes, this phone has an interchangeable back, and it has micro SD storage which is kind of why it's so awesome. As you know, the Galaxy S6 is pretty much the best thing in terms of Android phones today, and the LG G4 kind of beats it in, in several ways. So let's give you a quick tour of the G4. As you can see here, there's this beautiful Quad HD Quantum IPS panel. So this is a 1440 by um, 2560 display. It's basically designed to uh, beat last year's G3 display by adding this new quantum technology. I'm not quite sure what it does, but I can tell you this. It gets really bright and it looks really beautiful in terms of colors, contrast. Inside, you have a Snapdragon 808. Now, this is an interesting chip because, the, as you know, there's a Snapdragon 810. It's used on the M9 and the LG G Flex 2. And technically, the 808 is slightly below that in performance. It's a six-core processor, not an octa-core like the 810. But here's the advantage. It's a little more power efficient, and you get about 95% of the performance. There's also three gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of built-in in storage and as I said a micro SD card since the back cover is removable and the battery is also removable it's a 3000 milliamp hour battery but here is what I'm really excited about you're gonna say well so far so good but the camera oh the camera so specs 16 megapixel f over 1.8 lens so it's super fast and it has a three axis ois which is a brand new kind of ois even more effective than before these two things here are interesting this is the laser autofocus pod that's been on all lg phones since the g3 well flagship ones anyway g3 has it g flex 2 has it They've improved the speed of the laser autofocus. Uh, it still uses some of the built-in uh, sensor-based autofocus as well, because if you're taking pictures through glass, this is obviously going to detect the glass. Um, this was a dual LED flash on the G3, and now it's a single LED, uh, single color. So it seems like a step down a bit, but if you look carefully here, underneath it is another sensor, and that's a color sensor. It's like basically a UV light sensor, and it basically can say, tell the phone that um, you know, what the general color of the scene is. And that's a really big deal because you can now get much more accurate white balance. So let me show you the camera app real quick. This is really tremendous and we'll use this guy as a model. This is, as you can see, the man full manual control interface. And the reason I love this is because you got everything you need. A histogram here, it tells you, you know, the white balance and how it's changing it in real time. What the light metering is, so if it's too dark, this little thing will move around, as you can see here, uh, to adjust. And then the ISO, your shutter speed, and the f-stop, which is always f of 1.8. And you can set everything manually. So if you go in here, you can set the ISO, you know, say I want to get uh, 200, so it's going to get a little darker. And now I can set my shutter speed, so you can fully manually adjust the shutter and ISO. You can also manually adjust the exposure if you want to do it that way instead of doing it um, in, with uh, shutter speed and ISO. And then finally, you get manual focus and then the white balance. Full manual controls is tremendous. Notice there's another little thing here is the raw JPEG setting. JPEG and JPEG plus raw. Now, if you want, don't want to deal with this because you just want to give it to your grandma so she can just shoot a picture by tapping you know, the screen, there's a simple mode. And then there has um, an auto mode, which is a little more, con you know, it gives you the, the controls for video and all that and has some simple things you can tweak, like do I want HDR auto or HDR manual or whatever. This thing takes absolutely stunning pictures. Now, it's just a little better than the GS6. In some cases, sometimes the GS6 is a little better than the G4, 
But ultimately, you can't go wrong with either of these in terms of photography. Let's walk you through some of the details of this phone. As you can see, there's no buttons, they're on-screen buttons. What's cool is you can configure how many of these buttons and in which order you want them in in the UI. At the bottom, there's this kind of cool pattern all the way around the edge of the phone. And here you can clearly see on top, you've got a notification LED, um, front-facing camera, which I'm going to get back to in a second, the sensor for putting it to your face and brightness level, and of course the, the earpiece. That front-facing camera is no slouch. It's an 8 megapixel job. Uh, really good wide angle, uh, no autofocus or anything, but it takes really beautiful selfies. There's no buttons anywhere around, obviously, since LG puts their buttons on the back. So I'm just going to show you the edges real quick. You've got the top here and the sides, as you can see. This, this fake metal chrome that's actually plastic, sadly. The only thing of interest is at the bottom, where you have the micro USB charge and data port right here. And then you've got the volume, sorry, the uh, headphone jack right there, standard headphone headset jack. Again, nothing on the left-hand side. Now, here's that leather back. It's real leather with real stitching. And, you know, it might not be to everyone's taste, but I think it's really quite beautiful. The usual button arrangement for all the recent LG phones, you get the power lock key here, the volume down, volume up. Things that I don't like too much, um, it's plastic and glass and maybe leather and glass if you get the leather version, but really a metal frame would be great. The other thing, I don't know if you can see here, but it's slightly curved. It's not G-Flex 2 curved and it's not flexible when you push on it, but it has a slight curve to the display. And I think LG is kind of going for that so that when you hold it to your face, it feels more natural and it feels nicer. There's a couple of things it doesn't have out of the box no fast or quick charging. It will take an hour and 45 minutes to fully charge the battery. As you know, the Galaxy S6, the HTC M9, and surprisingly, even the G Flex 2 before it uh, from LG all have this fast, quick charge. The prop with a proper charger, you can get about an 80% charge in like half an hour to 45 minutes. So that's a bit of a miss. I don't know why they've gone a step back on that. Uh, finally, there's also no wireless charging built in. There is support for it, but you need to get a back cover that supports a Qi or PMA for wireless charging. The pros are basically the camera, number one. This is absolutely tremendous camera. The display, incredibly gorgeous. Performance, the speed of this processor, even though it's an 808 and not an 810 and it seems like a, a step down, it is just so fast and beautiful, nothing lags, and I love that about this phone. Um, and then, you know, of course, some people think this is not really a big deal, and I personally can live without it, but having an interchangeable, in, interchangeable battery and micro SD support and different backs makes, you know, makes for, I think, a better phone in terms of a flagship device. Uh, the, the cons, as I said, you know, uh, they're very minor. No fast charge, no wireless charging out of the box. Um, I wish this phone was made out of metal, at least the main frame of it, rather than plastic, because, you know, it is a flagship device. So that's it, the LG G4 here on Before You Buy, a tremendous phone. I really cannot recommend this phone more. Go get it. Uh, you will be really, really happy. It's coming out sometime soon uh, and it's not the pricing hasn't really been announced and not nor, nor has the actual exact launch date for the u.s carriers but it's already available in korea and you know it's in the usual flagship price point so i expect this to be a hundred to two hundred dollars on contract and of course uh you know 650 or so uh, uh unsubsidized but again the pricing hasn't been finalized yet so again, this is Miriam uh, for Before You Buy with the LG G4, tremendous Android phone.